neighbor used to tell me, you've got to be the total filmmaker. You're not really a filmmaker unless you're acting in it, directing in it, scoring it, producing it, cutting it. Then you're the total filmmaker. Jim Cummings is the total filmmaker, and that's hopefully what I aspire to as a student next, is to do it all in-house, DIY. But I think he's a groundbreaker. Absolutely. Do you have an interest at all in doing television at all? Or is it more focused on film? So, so my 17-year-old, he said, Dad, I think you need to uh, watch some uh, immersive uh, TV, some streaming uh, television. I want you to see Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I don't normally watch TV as a rule, but I learned from watching it, which is fantastic. The, 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 those actors, boy, are they good. Cranston, they're all so good in that. What I learned from that was that if you have that much time per each segment, per each episode, you could spend the whole 40 minutes just staring at a suitcase and thinking, what am I gonna do with this suitcase? Or am I gonna kill this person? Or am I not gonna kill this person? And you can't do that with a feature film because it's only two hours, maybe three hours if you're lucky. So then I got my wheels spinning and I said to myself, well, maybe it's time, maybe it's time to try that because that's new. That for me, would be groundbreaking. So that's exciting. Maybe we'll see that soon. Right. <laughs> um, I do want to talk about some of these famous roles that, of course, everyone in the room loves. I, we are in this time of a lot of reboots, a lot of remakes or sequels. Is there a role that you've done that you would like to re revisit or that you would love to see someone else revisit? Well, yeah, I, I actually wanted them to cast somebody else to play me in Unbearable White Mess. I couldn't think who they, who they would cast. Um, yeah, I, I, I think there's some movies that we could in, maybe do a sequel with that haven't been done. I, you know, Sean and I, for the longest time, wanted to do a sequel to The Rock, but it never happened. That would have been good. Sadly, he was a good friend. He passed on. But... Um, I think Con Air could do a sequel. We're looking at these sequels. Um, I'm actually going to be meeting some folks in Los Angeles to talk about a face-off sequel. When I, when I did Renfield, which hasn't launched yet, I had such a good time working with Nicholas Holt. Um, what, a, what a great actor he is. But I... I um, I thought, well, this is the perfect, I was supporting Nick, but this is the perfect amount of time for Dracula in this movie, but I wouldn't mind exploring, like, what, how did Dracula become Dracula? You know, what, what is, what, how did you become that guy? You know, it's sort of like, I, I want to take the time to, 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 to portray that, to see how he got there. It's, uh, to me, Dracula was always love and exile. He's unrequited love, and ultimately, if you, get, if you don't get love back, you're going to go bad. You know, and I want to. I thought I want to look at that. I was going to bring up Renfield. I'm so excited to see it. Um, I want to ask what that process was like for you and Nick, kind of working together on that, because that is such a beloved story. Well, this is an entirely different version of Dracula. This is they're 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 selling it like the boss from hell. This is about a toxic relationship between Renfield and Dracula. And usually when you see Renfield in the movies, he's portrayed in a sort of a grotesque manner. Well, Nick is a very charming, uh, handsome, elegant, and funny, witty actor. So this is a unique, unique take on Renfield. But I, I, I think that, you know, it's, it's an entirely different version of what we know as Dracula. But I had a lot of help. Uh, Christian Tinsley did the makeup. I had these ceramic teeth in my mouth the whole time. I was trying to speak with some some level of eloquence when it's hard to form any words at all. But but it, I had a lot of help. Great uh, costume department, great makeup artists. And so we all sort of powwowed and coalesced this character together. I, and I looked at some of my favorite, like I was talking about earlier, I looked at some what's been done before and done well and sort of cherry-picked what I liked about the Draculas that have worked and then try to break through that and find something new to do with what I learned. Absolutely. Um, when